Wow, I can see better in the camera than I can in the uh, in actual person. It's interesting, this used to go through to Pacific Avenue many, many years ago. And uh, then different people bought the land out from it and blocked it off with a fence. And then eventually U-Haul bought it out and they're actually using the land that's right next to it. So that makes sense, but it used to be a road that went through. There was a place called the Wigwam that used to be a store there. And then there was a thrift store there for a while. And then there was DSHS in part of the same building for a while. And then, man, it's just changed a whole bunch of times. But now it's U-Haul. I thought about going down Pacific Avenue, but I don't know. I'm a little worried about it now. <clears throat> there are so many areas of Tacoma that would normally be considered fine, but you know, you're you're in a mainstream area and suddenly something could happen to you, so I don't want it to be any part of that. So I'll stick to the neighborhood. But the most I have to worry about are barking dogs. This whole area that I'm walking in, normally, uh, well, I shouldn't say normally. Uh, many years ago, this was just totally... There were no houses here at all. There was one house and then a street that led all the way to B Street. Street? A dirt road that led to B Street. What am I saying? <laughs> It was weird when Google Maps had the uh, had the area pinned before it was actually an existing area. It was an existing street. Either that was a lowered vehicle or that was a crappy graduation.
There are so many places here in Tacoma that they've bought out land and is now going to be apartment buildings. We've needed it. We've needed it very badly. But it's just interesting to note that it's happening at all. I mean, I mean, none of these houses, none of this, none of this was here 10 years ago. Heck, I don't even think five years, nah. I'm losing track, so I'm not gonna try to claim. I'll just say 10 years ago to be safe. Here's another, you know, these, none of these houses were here. None of them. You know, some of it is because there were some properties that were originally private And once they were willing to, to sell part of it, it suddenly made a whole bunch of other land okay to take. A legal part, it had to do with uh, wetlands. I think about uh, Onision and how he really messed up. He did a whole bunch of things to some land that was supposed to be considered wetlands. You're not supposed to do anything with it, but he did anyway. So. Man, I haven't thought about him in a long time. trying to decide whether I'm going to walk through school property and go to 96th, no, 84th, excuse me, or whether I'm going to make a left at the next street here. Hmm. Well, I know I should have done a different uh, white balance. Everything so far has looked really orange. Sorry about that. Of course, upcoming is is orange, so. What do they have here now? Oh yeah, it's uh, canned foods. Well, let's see.
for someone walking through, I doubt. I mean, if they call the police, I'll be out of the area already, so. I wanted to walk a little longer before heading back, so. Man, that's so orange in the camera. I'm sorry about that. I don't want to get anywhere near the actual buildings. So... I shouldn't be this out of breath, but I'm still dealing with some after-COVID stuff. And I'm not trying to overexert myself, so... Amazing how many places still use those orange lights. Are those sodium lights? Man, can this camera see inside here at all? Not much. I'm glad that structure has kept there for so long, though. I mean, that structure has been there since the, uh, the 80s. I almost tripped there for a moment. I didn't realize there was a uh, curb downwards. Well, okay. Now I had based the white balance that I made this on on the auto white balance when I first went to the settings. I thought it would be good, but... Contrast to some of these lights, it's been pretty orange, but... Well, this looks all right. So it must not have been too bad. I just didn't want it constantly changing. Man, that sounded like snow tires.
That's a good looking red for that van. I don't know, different, uh, different colors look good on different vehicles. And different lengths of vehicles. probably far too out of breath for what I'm doing but again I'm still dealing with some symptoms of when I had COVID so And that may be a really square house, but it looked really cool when they had... There was some landscaping they originally had in the front, but it didn't last long. But it just made it look gorgeous. Oh my god, so many potholes on this street. And this house basically has a junkyard in the whole backyard. Just a big junkyard. You should put a sign on the cross on the main part of their fence that says trash. <laughs> I mean, they might take uh, they might take that as a badge of honor, and that's okay. People have different ways that they live. But, man, <laughs> the way those people live, it's just like, wow, that's, that's a junkyard. This area to the left used to be a nature area that uh, people could go to enjoy, but <clears throat> there was so much riffraff that happened at the time, at through over the years there, that they fenced it off and don't want people going in there anymore. So. Back in the day, they even used to have a map and little spots that they had. Hey, this is, this is the number one period. This has this many plants, that sort of thing.
Well, I guess that about wraps things up. Thanks for watching.